Hey guys, welcome to Quinian's Budget Crafts. Let's go ahead and make this poorly made chest here. To do that, we'll use some coffee stir sticks. Just line up a whole bunch of them and glue another one across the top. How close you get it to the edge doesn't really matter, but you do want to make sure that it is nice and straight. For the original height here, I went with one inch. That ended up being a lot bigger than I wanted it to be because if the side walls are one inch, then once you put the lid on, the whole thing becomes bigger than a mini, really. So I tried to cut it in half. That didn't really work out very well. So when you go to glue the cross beams on, put them so that the outer edge of each one is about a half an inch, somewhere in there. So if you did go ahead and make them one inch like I did, or you happen to have some laying around, that'll be fine. You can just go ahead and take two of the coffee stir sticks and put them together in the middle. And then when you cut it in half, you've made two rows of them. So that works out. Just split them and trim off any excess with a nice sharp X-Acto. For the front and back walls, we'll do them six sticks wide. And then for the side walls, we'll do them four sticks wide. In order to get the corners to match up nicely, you're going to have to trim off a little bit of the support stick you've got on the back there. If you end up cutting it off completely or breaking it or whatever, that's going to be totally fine because we're going to glue this back together anyway. So that's fine. Just go ahead and put some glue on there, stick it all back together with the other piece. And there you go. Nice flush corner. For the lid, we'll need some side pieces. I suppose you probably could do this out of popsicle sticks too, but foam seemed to be the easiest thing to go for here. Just find something that's a circle about the size you like. Make sure that the edges of it are matching up with the corners of your piece there. Make an impression and cut it out. Once you have a couple of half circle things cut out, go ahead and take some more sticks. Put a little hot glue on the edge and then just roll the little side pieces into it. Mine was a half a stick too wide, so I just used some flush cutters and clipped it to where the part I don't want is what's getting pushed away from the thing. If you are using foam for the sides, don't forget to put some wood grain texture on there. And the book says that this poorly made chest is closed, so that's how we're going to glue it. Just put some hot glue all around the edges of the bottom portion, and then stick the lid on and squish it to make it fit right, and hold it there until the glue solidifies. This does need some banding on it though. So go ahead and get some cereal box cardboard and score the middle of it and then go through squeezing it until you manage to fold it in half. Put a little bit of hot glue on it, stick it to the box, and trim off the excess. Once you've got that all the way around all four corners, you can go ahead and split the remaining bit of the cardboard you've got and use those split pieces as banding for the lid. Same idea, just put a little bit of glue on there, stick it down, and trim off the excess. For the latch on this thing, I did want to keep it similar to the desk, so I put the long bead and then a little round bead next to it. I ended up not liking the long bead there, so I took that off and used another piece of the cardboard. If your cardboard is like mine and it ends up splitting apart, you know, the different layers there, that's fine. Just go ahead and peel those excess layers off. You probably don't need them anyway. If you did want them to be thicker, then just put another one on. Of course, the simple method is to take it outside and spray paint it. There is some raw foam on here, but just spray from a distance and it'll be fine. A little dab of glue on the end of a dowel and stick it to the inside of the lid. That way you have something to hold on to. So I sprayed this with primer and then that same flat red that I've been using on other stuff. Now all you have to do is color the bands. I went with the simple use a silver sharpie method here. That seems to work pretty well. Then I started looking at this and I went, you know, this thing's missing something. And it occurred to me that it's missing the rivets. So we'll use some of the little round beads in this bead kit that I've got. Real simple, just like when we did the steampunk thing. Just put down a little bit of super glue and stick them on. You can do these however you want. I decided to do one per board and then two on each side of the ones on the corners. At this point, I was honestly getting a little frustrated with this project, so I just doused the whole thing in baking soda to go ahead and solidify the outside layer of the superglue so I could repaint it and be done. 
You could leave these gold if you want to, but I thought that looked a little bit strange on a chest that is noted as being poorly made. So I went back through with the silver sharpie and colored it all up. Now to finish it off and make it look like it's been left in this house forgotten for the past 20 years, grab yourself some black wash and just coat everything. If there's somewhere that you want it to be dirtier than other spots, you can use a less diluted black wash or a different color wash or maybe just a slightly diluted paint. I just put an extra little dab of black wash right on top and let it run where it wanted to without taking any of it off. So there you go guys, there's the poorly made chest that's in the alchemist room of the salt marsh house. Of course you can use this method to make a much nicer one or just use this to make one in a pirate ship or wherever you need a chest really. And don't forget if you want to support the channel you can do so on Patreon where you can get the ability to tell me to make things like the salt marsh house. Or if a one time donation is more your speed there's always coffee. I also have a web page listing all the things I like to use, such as the little gold dots that we used here, complete with affiliate links that cost you nothing but does help the channel. But as always, thank you for watching everybody. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, jump on the socials, and all that good stuff. I'll catch you on the next one.